I went from spending hours drawing endless video sprites like this to a fully fledged custom PNG tuber. That's right, I have a brand new look, created from scratch or by myself. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I made a character design sheet a few months ago with different options to help me come up with the initial Norvo design. If you've seen my videos before, you'll probably recognize this one. It's the one I ended up going with. But you can see I had different eyes, hairstyles, outfits, and accessories in mind. Having a sheet planned out like this was very helpful in helping me decide what looked best together. For my PNG tuber model, I decided to just copy paste one of these designs to use as the base for my model. I stuck with the same hairstyle and accessories I've always used, but I wanted to change up the outfit because I wanted something more cozy. I went with this outfit, but I didn't like the hood, so I used the hood from this design instead. The base drawing ended up being a bit of a Frankenstein with all the different design elements smashed together, but as I was only planning on using it as a base sketch, it didn't have to be neat. Now that I had settled on the design for my PNG tuber, it was time to actually make the model. I decided to use a program called PNG Tuber Plus to rig the model, which I'll get into later. Using this program meant that I had to break the model down into sections so they could be animated later, kind of like a basic VTuber model. So instead of drawing the entire image on a single layer, I had to break the image down into parts, with each part being on their own layer. For example, the body, including the neck, was on one layer, the head was on another. I also separated the eyes, mouth, accessories and hair. Originally the head layer had all the hair except for the fringe and side sections, but when I'd finished putting in the base colours I realised that wasn't going to work. So I had to put the hair from the back of the neck on its own layer and place it behind the body. With everything separated correctly and the base colours done, I moved on to shading the model. As it was going to have moving parts, I couldn't go too crazy with the shading as it would risk showing unblended parts and making the model look a bit unprofessional. So I stuck to the basics and mostly used cell shading and very little gradient. With the basic model complete, I then went and added some alternative parts for expressions and custom toggles. Things like closed eyes for blinking and an open mouth for talking. I also added a different set of eyes for a happy expression as well as some hands holding a controller for when I play games. I felt it would add better immersion to future videos. When I'd finished the model, including all the alternative parts, I saved each layer one by one as a PNG file, making sure all the other layers were hidden so only one part was visible. Here's what it looked like in the folder I created for them. I'm not very good at explaining things, so I hope seeing it this way makes sense. Now it was time to move into PNG Tuber Plus. If you're unfamiliar, PNG Tuber Plus is a completely free and easy to use program that allows you to make your own PNG Tuber models. You can add movement and physics, as well as custom toggles to bring more life into something that would otherwise just be a still image. I've left a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Now, I hadn't used this program before, but thankfully Tsuru Draws has this incredibly useful tutorial video on their channel. It's very in-depth, but at the same time super easy to follow and covers all the basics. I managed to pick up the program very quickly once I understood what all the icons and settings meant. I spent some time adjusting the movement to my liking. I didn't want it to be too bouncy when I was speaking, and I wanted it to have a calm and smooth idle animation. But you can set yours up however you want, it's all personal preference. It's also a good idea to have your microphone on while working on your model so you can see how it moves when you speak. I found it easier to adjust in real time that way. All in all, it took me around an hour to get my PNG tuber model looking and moving exactly how I like, which was really no time at all. I was surprised as I was fully expecting to spend at least an entire day on it. In total, the entire process of drawing, splitting and rigging my PNG tuber model took me around 3 or 4 hours. It's also super easy to set up in OBS as well. You just add in a window capture source and set it to PNG tuber plus. Then adjust the window to your liking. The program itself does the rest. So here's my PNG tuber model fully set up and finished. I can switch between my default expression, happy expression, and also get my controller out for gaming. But despite all this, there's still something missing. I have my gaming setup sorted, but what about when I want to make drawing videos? Thankfully, there's a solution to that. Virtual Graves has made this super cool, completely free program called Spud Tablet. Again, I'll put a link in the description for anyone interested. It's a program that has two windows which track your mouse cursor. One window has a tablet overlay for putting in front of your model, and the other is an arm overlay that you can place over your display in OBS. You won't see it, but your viewers will. It's great for immersion when doing art streams or videos. It doesn't require any setup either besides adding a window source in OBS. This is what the tablet overlay looks like with my model. 
As you can see, it follows my mouse cursor to give the illusion that my model is drawing, but it looks kind of off with the mismatching art styles, don't you think? Lucky for us, you can customise it. See, the program is very simple. It's basically just a few static images that move with your mouse. You can swap out and change those images to whatever you like. There's even a templates folder available to download on the program's website. So I just made my own images and swapped them out with the originals to keep the art consistent and match my model. Here's what it looks like now. Pretty cool, right? Not only can I add my model to gameplay footage, but I can add it to art footage as well. Although a quick mention, there's also a spud controller program also made by Virtual Graves, but I decided not to use it. It's still very much worth checking out though. So there we are, my brand new shiny PNG tuber model. What do you think? I wanted to switch from using pre-drawn sprites to a PNG tuber, not only to save time and my wrist, but also add a little more animation and character to my videos. Sure, it's no VTuber, but it's comfortable for me. I don't have to worry about a camera and be mindful of my movements. I can just be a potato with a microphone. If you're someone looking to make your own PNG tuber model, then I hope you found this video helpful. I know it's not a tutorial, but hopefully it at least pointed you in the right direction. As for everyone else, I hope you enjoyed watching my little journey into becoming a PNG tuber. I had a lot of fun and was really surprised at how easy it was to make and set up. If you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more random videos in the future. But that's it for now. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye!